Saint Pacificus of San Severino, born Carlo Antonio Davini, was an Italian Roman Catholic priest known for being a miracle worker. The Catholic Church celebrates his feast day every September 24. Saint Pacificus was born Carlo Antonio Davini on March 1, 1653, at San Severino, a municipality in the province of Maserata in the Italian region Marche. Carlo was the youngest of 13 children of the nobles Antonio Maria and Mariangela Bruni Davini. Sadly, his parents died not long after his confirmation when he was aged three. He was raised by his maternal uncle Luzizio Bruni, archdeacon of the Cathedral of San Severino. In December 1670, Carlo took the Franciscan habit in the order of the Reformatio at Ferrano in the March of Ancona, taking the name Pacificus. He was later described as a tall, thin man with pale skin, an eagle nose, a clear voice, and a modest and friendly appearance. Pacificus was ordained to the priesthood on June 4, 1678, and served as a professor of philosophy where he taught younger brothers in Montalbodosso and Fossombrone. After six years, Pacificus requested to travel around and do missionary work in the villages of the region. He preached, visited the sick, heard confessions, and taught the young. His success was partly due to his direct and simple preaching and partly to his ability to read the consciences of those who came to him to confess their sins. Pacificus's apostolate was cut short when in 1684, his health failed. By 1688, the disease had left him both blind and deaf. He was then stricken with open sores on his calves which rendered him almost a cripple, practically impossible for him to walk. The rest of his life was full of intense suffering, but he spent it in contemplation, prayer, penance, and almsgiving. It is believed that during this period, he was blessed by God with supernatural abilities. Despite his chronic ill health, he was made guardian of the monastery of Maria della Grazi in San Severino, between 1692 and 1693. In September 1705, Pacificus was transferred for the last time to the Franciscan monastery in his hometown of San Severino, where he spent the rest of his life. There, his health gradually worsened, and in his last years, he found it difficult to celebrate Mass and hear confessions. As if he did not suffer enough, he fasted and practiced other penances to the extent that his superiors had to intervene, and when he attended Mass, he was often in ecstasy. On several occasions, he showed that he had the gift of prophecy. On June 11, 1721, Pacificus told the Bishop of San Severino, Alessandro Calvi, who came to visit him, that the Bishop would die shortly, and that he himself would follow soon after. The Bishop died after less than two weeks. Pacificus died on September 24, 1721, in San Severino, a couple of months after he prophesied the bishop's death. His grave was opened in 1725 and his body was found intact, even though he was buried without a coffin. His remains were now placed in a wooden coffin and placed near the Marian altar in the Abbey Church. In 1752, his beatification proceedings had started. He was beatified on August 13, 1786, by Pope Pius VI and canonized by Pope Gregory XIV on May 26, 1839. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.